Find the general solution to the differential equation y double prime plus 4y equals cosecant squared of 2t. We will be using variation of parameters, and as always, we begin with the homogeneous solution, in which we take the left hand side and set that equal to 0, which allows us to make our auxiliary or characteristic equation, in which the power of r is equal to how many derivatives are being taken on y, so y double prime is r squared plus 4 and there's no r since there is no prime. And that's it, we just set that equal to zero. So r squared equals negative four, and you take the square root of both sides, which will give us our two root solution of r equals zero plus or minus two i, where alpha equals zero and beta equals two. This means that our homogeneous solution equals e to the alpha t times c1 cosine of beta t plus c2 sine of beta t. And since alpha is 0, e to the 0 is 1, so we're just left with the parentheses term. That means that yh equals c1 cosine of 2t plus c2 sine of 2t. We need the cosine and sine terms. We'll call them y1 and y2 so that we can find y particular, which equals v1 y1 plus v2 y2. And we'll be using the Ronskin approach, since it's much more preferable, in my opinion, to system of equations. So v1 equals negative integral of y2 f of t over Ronskin, where f of t is the right-hand side. Whereas v2 equals positive integral of y1 times f of t over Ronskin once more. Now, we need to figure out what Ronskin is, and we know from linear algebra that it is used to find out whether two equations, say y1 and y2, are linearly dependent or independent. So we need our two primes as well. Which means that with the determinant, that will be y1 y2 prime minus y1 prime y2. So, let's write here y1 equals cosine of 2t, and y2 equals sine of 2t. That means that y prime equals negative 2 sine of 2t. And y2 prime equals 2 cosine of 2t. Plugging that into our Ronskian term, y1 is cosine 2t times y2 prime, 2 cosine of 2t, minus y1 prime, negative 2 sine of 2t, times y2 sine of 2t. Now multiplying, that means that it's equal to 2 cosine squared of 2t plus 2 sine squared of 2t. And as you know from the basic trig identity, sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. So we can just factor that out here, sine squared of 2t. It doesn't matter what's inside these parentheses, it will always be 1. And thus, Ronskian equals 2 times 1, so Ronskian equals 2. Now looking back at v1, that's equal to the negative integral of y2 sine of 2t times f of t, which we said was cosecant squared of 2t, over Ronskian, which was just 2, dt. So let's factor out 1 half, so it becomes negative 1 half integral of sine 2t times Let's just take the inverse of this term, which is just 1 over sine squared of 2t dt. We can cancel one sine term out of here, but that still leaves us with one cosecant term. So v1 equals negative 1 half integral of cosecant 2t dt. And unfortunately, this is one property that you have to memorize, but the integral of cosecant is ln cosecant minus cotangent of any internal variable. And don't forget that since it's being multiplied by 2, you got to bring that as a denominator in front. So we get negative 1 fourth ln absolute value of cosecant 2t minus cotangent of 2t. And that's it for v1. Now for v2, that's equal to the positive integral of y1, which is cosine of 2t times the same f of t as before, cosecant squared of 2t, over Ronskian, which is 2 dt. 
and that equals one half integral of cotangent, since we're just bringing one denominator underneath this cosine term of 2t, and we're still left with a cosecant term. And unfortunately, this is another term you have to memorize, but the integral of cotangent of some value times cosecant of some value is negative cosecant of that same value. And don't forget to bring out the one half as well. So that's negative one fourth, since you're multiplying one half by one half, cosecant of 2t, which is v2. Now we have everything we need to plug into our y particular solution up here. v1 y1 becomes negative one fourth ln cosecant of 2t minus cotangent of 2t y1, which is cosine of 2t, plus v2, negative one fourth cosecant of 2t, times y2, which is sine of 2t. And look at that, the sine and cosine terms cancel, but everything here stays the same. So let's write what's left. And we get negative one fourth. Don't forget to multiply cosine of 2t by this whole term. So ln absolute value of cosecant 2t minus cotangent of 2t minus this remaining one fourth. And that is our y particular. And as you know, y general equals y homogeneous plus y particular. And if you remember, we have our y homogeneous up here, which I just starred. So, all you do is just add these two together, and you're done. So y homogeneous, as we said previously, equals c1 cosine of 2t plus c2 sine of 2t. And we just add our y particular. So negative 1 fourth cosine of 2t times ln absolute value of cosecant 2t minus cotangent of 2t minus one fourth. I hope this video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.